Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video about Elden Ring, okay? Now I have been trying now for two hours to set up like a, some form of quickest action bar because the game, okay, let me show you the game. Sometimes I don't really understand why people say Elden Ring is such a great game because it really isn't, right? You don't even have action board for your spells, you know, you literally have to switch from one spell to another to even cast it in the middle of the PvP, right? I mean, you, yeah, you can be insane tryhard, but this game is more complex than it needs to be. That's the problem with this game, okay? Or how half of the content is locked behind questions that nobody tells you about, you know? That you literally have to restart in like 50, 100 hours of progress to even get some of the item, items like Goat Armor set, Lightning Seal, Azure Mage set, you know? All these items I will never be able to get on my main character. Because I just got locked out of content permanently, you know? Nobody tells you anything in this game. Okay, so let's go. There's so many things that frustrate me about this game. I really want to enjoy it. I love the magic system. I love the action combat even though it's pretty outdated but man why it's so hard to set up a basic action bar in this game it's impossible right i have been trying so hard now can't do nothing i'm I can't ask nobody either you know doesn't wanna change spells and it's so frustrating, like Jesus Christ. Why can't we have a basic uh, function in the game where you can, you know, uh, put five abilities on it and just fucking use them when you want? Like, this makes ma any mage build totally, totally useless in PvP, right? You know, it's always these guys who two shot you with swords that complain that mage is overpowered. Like, what? It's really not. You have infinite dodge frames, you have. Jesus Christ, man. I'm really, I'm really trying hard to load this game, but it's so impossible sometimes because of the frustrating game design, right? No action bar. Uh, game locks you out of content permanently with some of these convoluted quests that nobody tells you about. If you click the wrong summoning sign at the end of the long three-hour question when you are tired, you literally get uh, locked out of content permanently, right? There are so many issues like that. And what's next? There is no there is no ranked rewards or leaderboard for PvP, right? So basically there is no point to even play PvP in this game. Colo we have Colossum, yeah, right? We have Colossum and we have uh, invasions. And there is zero ranked leaderboards or rewards for it, or any community tournaments or something like that. Right? So there is no reason to play PvP in this game if, if you're not having fun or if you're not making YouTube videos out of it, right? And you know how frustrating this game is, like Jesus Christ. Look at the... you don't even have action bar, you, if you wanna, you can literally only cast one spell at a time and then you have to switch to another. It's not like you can just press, you have different keys for different spells, no. You literally have to switch from one spell to another and then you can manually cast it. it the, the game design is so outdated, right? Colossum, you know, Colossum or Invasions still have no rank leaderboards, no rewards, right? We still have no social hub or anything like that. So you're always stuck, to, it's, uh, you, it's always a solo game. I mean, yes, you can sometimes do co-op, you know, but uh, there is no community, uh, there, all you do is literally, all you do is, uh, you know, or you go to, let's see, map. Oh man, why is everything so hard? Where is my map now? I can't even use my map now. I'm so... I don't know what's wrong. But you always, you know, you always like, you go to roundhouse table. You know, you cook for Colosseum there. And that space, there is no players around, no social interaction. You're literally just waiting at the dead space with almost any NPC and out there. It's, and it's the same story with every um, 
Monster Hunter, right? Final Fantasy, right? These games are good, but they lack so many important features that are not sometimes even worth playing, and it's just so frustrating, right? I all, I you know. I, I, you know, beat almost the whole game. I only have final boss left, okay? I beat so many bosses. But I still feel like I, I can't do anything in this game. You see? You can only use one Asher War at once. You can only use one magic at once, you know? In PvP I get three-shotted by all these katana users. I can't use... I don't even have action bar for my spells. I literally have to... Then and I have to change and then I can use, you know, it's stupid. I mean, there are some really cool spells in this game, but Jesus Christ, how hard is to use them? Why don't we still don't have action bar? You know, why still we have no rank leaderboard rewards to actually enjoy this game, to have a reason for people to play PvP in this game? Where are the social features? Chat bubbles, uh, ch chat box. A basic so they call it you know they always say oh this game is special we design intentionally design it that way you know in, in, intentionally designed an incomplete game because you don't really know what you want or you don't really know uh, the standards or what people want in your game that's the truth that's how you you know open world I mean yeah it's open world you can do anything you want but half of the quest you do literally locks you out of the other quest you wanna do Right? I will never be able to get lightning seal, okay? I will never be able to get lightning seal because I beat some boss and then this whole area is locked out. And I never know that. So, <coughs> I will never get a seal that allows me to get bonus damage for lightning spells. So, why would I ever use lightning spells, right? I have no goat, goat armor set with the biggest poise, right? So, I cannot really make uh, the poise build. I don't have mage armor set. I don't have... You know, so many of these items are locked behind some of these questions that, you know, 50-50 questions. It's, it's, it's just simply frustrating game design. You're not even fighting with the game, you're fighting with the frustrating game design. You know, and they don't really make it easy on you. They don't really don't. They do everything in their power to make sure you're gonna be frustrated. And how can I enjoy PvP when I don't even have action bar? When I literally have to manually switch spells from one to another like jesus christ how hard is it maybe i should just do that let's see uh we can go system key bounds okay switch sorcery incarnation ah oh, fuck no can we do this No, I cannot, okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Skill. Uh, can we do like this? And then this. Can I do 2-3 so I can switch from left to right? I probably can't. You see, this game has so many limitations. It's just frustrating you know okay so with this what is this no? jesus christ how hard does everything has to be in this game you know that's the problem and you are not even rewarded for it like i just wanna you know have fun uh, try different spells but i can but the game literally has no rewards nothing for you you know it's like you're just wasting your time. There is no progression in this game, right? No rank leaderboard or something that guilds could have to compare each other. Who's the best? Nothing like that in this game. No social features. It's like, why are we even playing this game? Let's see. Let's put this. Okay, let's go back. Now we can change spells easy with pressing two. But I see I have to go all one direction. You see. I cannot really... I just wanna have a simple action board with all my spells on it. So I can just press 1, 2, 3 and use the spell I want. Why is this so hard for these developers? 
Why do you have to install some crazy program that that literally doesn't even work? I have no idea how to set the headset this up. It's so frustrating. Man, Jesus Christ. You see, this game is much more limiting than they, they make you see me, you see? And now instead of action adding all these functionalities in, in the game to make it easier on players, to make the game more playable, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna charge, you know, $50 for another expansion. Meanwhile, they literally added zero of these functionalities into the game, you know? That's what I hate about them. They never listen to the community or Peggy the player 16. base. <coughs> and now they want us to pay $50 for another expansion, right? No, I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying for that. There is way too much, there is way too much frustrating game design in this game that you would even take it seriously, right? Okay, so okay, now what? You will add few new more bosses, few new, few new more PvE content, okay? And then what? Right? Then what? So you can try it against players in PvP, in Colosseum or Invasions? Alright, but those game modes, those have no rewards, no leaderboards, nothing. So what's the point of this whole game? What's the point? And why is there so much frustrating game design in this game? Yeah, they call it a choice. I mean, what? Why, get, why I'm getting locked out of content and items permanently if I choose the wrong NPC? Then where is the choice here? You're literally just punishing me. Jesus Christ. Okay, you will add few cool new bosses. I mean, but the whole point of PvE and this uh, uh, upgrading your character is that you can later maybe try it in PvP, for example. All these cool spells, at least that's for me. But then, there is no point in playing PvP, because the whole gameplay design is so bad and there is no rewards, leaderboards or social interaction or, you know, a feeling of community. I mean, yes, you can go on YouTube, you can go on these forums and talk about Elden Ring, but in-game, the games feel solo, the game doesn't really feel alive, you're always solo. You know, you cannot even hang without other players, you don't barely see other players, you can't even use voice chat or um, uh, ch chat bubbles or anything to have some social interaction, nothing, right? What's the point of this game? Jesus Christ, this game could be so much better with, without this, all this frustrating game design, you know? You see, I, 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 I beat almost whole game and I still feel like I can't do shit. And now we can now okay, change spells. But you see how frustrating the spells mechanics. Why why put so many cool spells in the games and if you then can't even use them uh, properly? I literally have to change, you see, from one spell to another and then use it manually. So I just wanna have a simple action with seven skills so I can put my skills there and then just press one to seven. So I can use uh, a spell in a certain situation, not that I have to manually go from one to another, search for the perfect spell in the perfect opportunity, when that opportunity is long gone. Like Jesus Christ, did these guys ever made a good PvP game in their lives? Uh, did they ever make a complete game in their lives that actually feels good to play? Jesus Christ, man. That's the problem with their games, they know how to make good games, but they have no idea how to make complete games. Games that will actually last more than a few years. That will be actually enjoyable to play. That will be have a competitive spirit, environment, social interaction. Jesus Christ, man.